Welcome to a Fashion Doll Shoes tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to make insoles using the pattern I made in the previous video. And you need obviously the pattern and then cardstock. I think this was 80 grams per square meter. I'm not quite sure. Something like that. And you need PVA glue and this is just one brand this is easily available here so that's why I'm using it and it needs to be PVA glue and I'll explain that later but the first thing you need to do is to cut out one one piece for each foot so you trace the pattern to the cardstock and flip it and trace Another one like so and then just cut them out and this structure is actually surprisingly durable. It's easy to make and it really fits different kinds of shoes and it's the basic structure is three layers of cardstock and it's it's enough at least for smaller shoes like Barbie or Monster High and if if you have a really big and heavy doll then it's probably better better to use more layers but there are actually five layers when you use three layers of cardstock because the, the PVA glue between those layers it actually forms two additional layers and it makes the soles really strong. Okay, now we have, have the two pieces and then need to cut the next layer just cut pieces that are bigger than the soles this and then you need to glue those I usually use small piece of plastic or something like that for the glue. Just put a little bit there and a toothpick for applying the glue. And then you spread plenty of glue to the entire area underneath the first layer and you really need to have enough glue there because as I said it, it will form one or one layer there between the two cardstock layers okay now we have that there and then Put it against the lower piece just here at the heel and then you put this against the sole of the foot and start pressing those layers together going towards the toe part and you need to do it this way because then the layers are glued together in in the right shape and then just make sure those are tightly pressed together 
how the shape is correct. Okay, and then we'll do the same for the other one. and then just press the pieces together like so. right. and you don't need to wait for these to dry you can just Take the first one and start cutting away the extra. And the reason why you do the gluing this way is that it's the best way to get neat edges. If you cut the second layer first and then glue it, it most probably won't be in exactly the correct position so it's the result is better this way and the second one Basically you just repeat that for the third layer. Cut a piece there and another piece. So. And then just Move the layers together the same way as previously. Now the cells have three layers of cardstock and I have cut out the extra so now they are ready for use. And the way I normally use this is to have leather insole on top and then leather out outer sole here on bottom and of course a heel and if if you're making really small shoes like Barbie size uh, you can actually use use these soles like they are these are for fashion royalty doll and these are made of cardstock glue paint and ribbon and there's no other materials needed. Let's see if I can show you a closer view. And there's a pattern for these and also instructions on my website. And I'll put a link in the description for those. This time I'm making a bit different insoles because I'm going to cover these with fabric and the fabric I'm going to use is this it's cotton and it has really small pattern so it's good for scale like these soles have and see the edge is there The first thing to do is to cut big enough pieces of the fabric. 
fabric it's better to cut too big paste than too small so I'm leaving a lot of extra around the, here it's going to be cut away cut away later And then you need to first glue the fabric to the top here. Uh, oh, that's already dry. So I'll need a new batch of glue. And this time the amount of glue should be much smaller. Just just enough to get the fabric to stick to the cardstock if you put too much glue it may seep through the fabric so it's better to be careful okay and then just there and again start from one end and press the fabric against the sole like that and then we'll let it dry and glue the other one pattern like in this fabric doesn't really need careful adjustment but if if you if you have fabric which has bigger patterns you need to be careful to try to make the soles mirror images and I have here example of fabric covered sole with fabric that has big patterns it, it wasn't really possible to make these mirror images but at least they are similar enough now the glue is dry and the next part is turning the fabric under the insole uh, in in this scale that's doable but if if you're making smaller shoes like these monster high shoes I have made you can also just cut the fabric along the edges and then use the insole as such it does show you can see here white edge but if, if it doesn't bother you, then it's definitely easier way than the one I'm going to show you next. Right. Start with this one. And, take this. and the way to turn the fabric to the underside is you need to cut flaps to the edges because you have all these there are very few really straight lines there are curves and it's easier to get those neat by using flaps and you cut them in this triangle shape to avoid overlapping when you glue them and I'm really bad at this because I can't look close enough with the 
camera in use. But hopefully I can do this. So just cut all the way around and here in these straighter parts you can make wider wider flaps but when you come to the heel and toe parts you need narrow flaps to have a neat result. The reason you want to avoid overlapping the flaps underneath the sole is that it makes the outer sole look bumpy because there are well it depends on what you what material you're using for the outer sole but if it's anything fairly thin it's going to be bumpy if the flaps are overlapping. This is actually the same method you use when when gluing the edges of uppers underneath the insole. This top part is, is really the most difficult part in the entire sole. It can be hard to get it neat. Because of the curve. Right now. We have all the flaps here. Looks funny. Okay, take that away and then then you just put glue in the and turn the flaps underneath. And you're going to get some glue in your fingers. Can't be avoided. Just try not to get the glue here on this side. It doesn't matter if there's extra glue on the underside, but but that other side will be visible, so it's not nice to have any glue there. And then you just turn these. them so that the edge edge looks neat. Fabrics usually they stretch a bit so 
you can pull them pull them and get get them tight here. It's getting dry again. That's really why you take just a little bit of the glue out from the tube at once because it's going to dry. Dry when it's out in the open. Well, some say that PVA glue is slow to dry, but everything's relative and it can be really quick when, you, when you'd like it to be slow. scale the top part isn't quite as hard as it is in making smaller insoles so that's why I like Miss Piggy she's got big feet so it's easy to make shoes for her and you can put lots of details in them all right um there it is this is the side that will be visible and this is the underside and if if you use really thin leather for the outer sole it can still be a bit bumpy so it's better to use thick, thick material for the outer sole just to make sure it will be even and then you just do the same for the other one